good evening. Tonight we are making crockpot cabbage rolls. So I want to get them ready for tonight and then tomorrow morning before I go to work I'm going to put them in the crock pot and then they'll cook all day. So to start we need some boiling water. And then you want to take your cabbage head and I just cut off the uh, the end there there we go so we'll leave this for just a couple of minutes and once these start to get softened just so they're easier to roll Pull them apart. Okay, so these are getting good and pliable. So then I'm going to put them into a bowl of cold water just to stop the cooking. We don't really want them to cook. They're going to cook all day. I just need them to be soft enough to roll. And then I'll just continue to do this until we get enough pieces. At least eight pieces, but I always make sure I have extra. Okay, so in a large bowl we're going to combine two pounds of ground beef and to that we're going to add one cup chopped yellow onion. Three cloves of garlic, three fourth teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of pepper, um, half a teaspoon of paprika. Wow, this is a little more, almost a full teaspoon. I like paprika. So I'm going to use my canned tomato sauce. So um, I'm going to add a quarter cup of tomato sauce to this, so I'm just going to guesstimate about how much that is. Alright. Um, we're also going to add two cups of uncooked rice. And then we're going to add two eggs. Stir that up. Yeah. 
Sorry about that. I told my dogs that we were filming today, so I don't know why they're barking. Uh, the deer bed down in the woods behind my house, so that's what they were getting upset about. So I'm going to add the rest of that pint jar of home canned tomato sauce, or you can use regular tomato sauce. This is tomatoes from my garden. If you stick around with me through this summer, you'll see what my garden looks like. Okay, so that's a pint and three fourths of tomato sauce. I'll have the recipe in the description box. And then um, I'm going to add a half a cup of beef broth and a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Whisk that up. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of paprika. Okay. Set that aside. And now we're going to roll up our cabbage. Okay. These are nice and cool and pliable now. So you want to take about a quarter cup of your meat mixture. Put it in there. And you're just going to roll it like a burrito. Now, if you get that real hard rib, I took, took a pair of scissors and, and cut that off. You don't have to, but I didn't want that later. Some of them will have tears in it, but they'll be fine. It's just fine. Okay, so, I'm going to get the rest of these rolled and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so we're going to take just a, just a little bit of this. I don't know, eighth of a cup, quarter of a cup. Put it in the bottom like that. And then seam side down. Put these in here. second layer. It's going to be tight. Then we're going to pour the rest of this on. Now, you can add raisins to the top, to the top of this. Um, that, 
doesn't appeal to me. So um, I'm going to, uh, you can cook this on high for four hours or low for eight. Um, I work 10 hour days, so uh, my crock pot will automatically kick it to warm. So when I get home tomorrow, um, and I'm not going to put this in the crock pot until I'm ready to leave for work tomorrow morning. So when I get home, um, these will already be ready and then I'll just make some mashed potatoes to go with it. And then I'll bring you guys back then. Okay. There you have it. Got some homemade mashed potatoes. cabbage rolls. It didn't even really take that long. So if you have any comments, leave it in the description box, or the comment section below. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you give this recipe a try. Um, if you could like and subscribe and share this video, that would really help me out. I appreciate it, and thanks for watching.